Former prosecutor Bob Bianchi is here. Shep, I, I have a question. Why not give the guy a kiss? This is unbelievable. It's a disgrace to those who are truly victims of hate crimes, to the police that ex exhaustively uh, went through this, to a prosecutor who accepted that he committed these crimes, to the grand jury that indicted him. And there are defendants that we have, um, I represent right now, who have done far, far less, and they wouldn't get this kind of treatment. It's a whitewash, and then they seal the records, and he gets to go out and say, I'm innocent. The mayor's been thrown under the bus. The judicial system's been thrown under the bus. The Chicago Police Department is, and this is what really got me. Let's listen to what the prosecutor said, because there's only one valid reason to reverse a grand jury investigation, and that is newly discovered evidence, Brady material, we call it. Here's the answer that the prosecutor gave for, for making this unbelievably disgraceful decision. After reviewing the facts and circumstances of the case, Yikes, you think you do that when you present the case to the grand jury, including his volunteer service, an agreement to forfeit his bond, which is $10,000, which is nothing. We believe the outcome is just and the disposition appropriate resolution of this case. It's outrageous. The prosecutors make a decision not to prosecute. And then the mayor and the police chief come out and say that there's a deal that's been brokered behind which he's hiding, but by definition, there is no deal. Charges are dismissed. Everything is dropped and everything is sealed. Right. But like, will we like never know? Well, I, I, you know what I would do? I, I tactically, if I were the police department, say that I want to sue him civilly and bring him into the court for the tens, perhaps hundreds of thousands of dollars of police resources that could have went to ferreting out real crime that were wasted on this investigation. But so haven't the prosecutor said he didn't do that? He didn't fake this. They didn't say that he didn't do it. They just said that they felt it was an appropriate disposition. You can't take the money, the bond money, well, actually, for no reason. Well, actually, what they said was he did nice community service and he gave us $10,000. Therefore, we're dismissing the charge. Exactly. What they didn't say was he didn't do this. They're not, you just can't take the guy's $10,000 for no reason. You got to take it because there's an admission. Listen, we'll get rid of your case. We'll dismiss the charges if you give this as a penalty. So the prosecutor is saying that's punishment enough. The prosecutor did not say he did not do this. And if I were the Chicago Police Department and the mayor, I would bring a civil suit so that I can get him on the record. There's got to be something we don't know, Bob. We do know that the state's attorney recused herself in the early going, said that she had received communication, that the family was unhappy with the way it was being handled, that she had received a communication from the former chief of staff of the former first lady. Yeah, please. And, and, and we don't know if she was involved in this in any way. You know, people argue about the differences and disparities in race in terms of incarceration and things of that nature. I have always said it is about green dollars, money, power, influence that's making these decisions because there are many poor minorities right now who are charged with minor marijuana offenses that have records for the rest of their lives and go to jail. What he did here was put a hoax that put police in danger, the community in danger, the minority community was very upset about this, and understandably so, ratcheted up racial tension, an ongoing conspiracy with multiple individuals to fool the public, to fool the police, lied repeatedly to the police. That guy gets off with this, gets this kiss, it's a disgrace. And the fact, I'll tell you as a prosecutor, that the police department isn't even apprised of this prior to the decision being made, and they find out about it on the media, that's not how prosecutors and police operate, Shep. I can tell you that to a certainty. And then the mayor stands up and calls the whole thing a sham. Have you ever seen anything like this? I, I, honest to God, I've never seen anything like this. Usually law enforcement, sometimes people hold their nose because you've got to make a prosecutorial decision based on a lack of evidence or newly discovered evidence. That's why I want to see what this statement said about that. And it said nothing. This was just a whitewash, political influence used in order to get him out from under. And all those minority kids that are out there in Chicago that are being arrested and convicted for offenses far less than this, far less gravity than this. I'd like to see what their defense attorneys are going to do when they go to the Cook County prosecutor and say, how about my guy? It's been my experience that prosecutors and investigators, meaning the police department, work hand in hand on matters like this. And when a big decision like this has to be made, it's going to face a lot of public scrutiny. They get together and discuss a strategy for how to present it all. Instead, they stood up. One side said one thing and the other side called them 
called them horrible. Absolutely, sir. I ran an agency, so sometimes I had to make decisions that the police weren't comfortable with. But I brought them into the office, I explained to them the reasons for those decisions, and again, they may hold their nose, but they would say, okay, fine, that's your discretion. But it was based upon the facts, and it was based upon the law. The fact that they never even communicated to this, and the police and the mayor are just blindsided when they find out about this emergency hearing that had to ha happen so quickly with this kiss of a, an agreement that and they, they call all with. the reporters down there this morning. You got to come. They called everybody who's been covering. You got to come down here. We're going to have a news conference. It's it's it is. This should be investigated. There is something completely not correct with what went on here. Uh, and and I've never seen anything like this where you have a mayor and a police department that are now at odds with a prosecutor's office where they work with them day in and day out about what they believe. I know they feel like they've gotten thrown under the bus. They now everybody's going out and saying, oh, the police investigated them. It was a sham. How can you, as a prosecutor, I've indicted cases in the grand jury. The grand jury, the citizens of the county are the ones that make a decision of whether or not there's going to be an indictment. And 23 folks said there was enough evidence to move this case forward to trial, and a prosecutor unilaterally decides to give it away? It's not right. Bob Bianchi, I, I think there's probably more coming here. I'm agitated, and I hope there is. <laughs> Bob, wow, thank you.